that we're live. It's a good we're live. Live. Okay. Okay, so dear Sabir. <laughs> dear Sabir. <laughs> I have noticed since I've been coming. Oh, maybe I shouldn't read that bit. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> I think it's okay to read. I won't say the name. Anyway, we, get lot, we get lots of people come, come in and go. I've noticed since I've been coming to your group that my food choices, I thought it was a great question, that my food choices, but most importantly, amounts have changed considerably. So, for example, I made sure in recovery that I have vegetables with every main meal, protein and carbs or carby veg, and a fruit for after. I always wanted to use up all of my allowances as I can eat only three times a day. What I started to notice in the last five weeks since coming to the group is that I am not desperate for my meals. I can sit with hunger and my food choices and amounts have changed to reflect that what my body tells me it needs, which is significantly uh, smaller amounts of food than previously and I don't have to have fruit for after or carbs or vegetables with every meal if it's not available or if I don't fancy it. My interest in food shopping, ex uh, exploring, <laughs> filling up my fridge is also gone. I don't seem bothered or preoccupied with it even though I have been my whole life previously occupied with the same things in and out of recovery. I now thank God for my food and eat enough to satisfy me I have never experienced this in my life, in my entire life, and I was wondering if you have any experience with this or if you can share wisdom around the subject. I feel liberated but don't feel cured by any means, and very much understand that I'm an addict. Could this be because my spiritual spirituality has opened new windows into something? Yes, it has. Uh, thanks for reading this. Uh, let me see if I should read this. Uh, Oh yeah, so just to see if I can respond. Yeah, so this is a lovely question, and uh, we're recording from an anonymous, uh, from an anonymous person. Good question. Uh, and um, yes. no, because my, my, my primary addiction is food, and I go to a food fellowship, I won't say which one, but I go to a 12-step food fellowship. And I often say in that, you know, in the last eight years, you know, I've had no body obsession. There was only one day of very tiny food obsession in eight years, but essentially no food and body obsession for eight years. You know, it's total neutrality. It's like it's not interesting. It doesn't enter my consciousness, <coughs> food or body, on a daily basis. And this, this is just definitely going to happen, and this happened with Hawkins. If you keep, you know, uh, what you do is before meals, after meals, you feel out the hunger. Uh, and uh, so you feel out all, because hunger is not real. Hunger is just an illusory idea. It's a label. Hunger is actually a label. If you pick up the label, then it's called hunger. If you cancel the label in hunger and just feel out hunger all the time, then you evaporate that such a thing as hunger exists. And you evaporate out that energy of the need for food. That also evaporates off, so it doesn't happen. Uh, so you don't, you, don't get, you don't feel hungry. If you keep doing that, you, know, you get to a place where... Um, you probably notice, um, now this is quite advanced, I mean I, I have, uh, you know, I actually have two meals a day and I weigh myself once a week to make sure that I'm eating enough or, you know, get my weight to stay stable because I haven't got any track of, you know, food or, 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 or body weight. But I'm in a 12-step group so I don't want to be like a, a skeleton or something like that. Uh, you'll notice that a lot of the high spiritual teachers are very thin. Uh, you know, look at you. Look at uh, uh, yeah. Don't, not, not talking yeah. about that one. I'm not talking about that one. Yes, I'm not, not, I'm not talking about that one. But, anyway, but a lot of them, a lot of them, like, like, <laughs> I mean, go ignore that person. Uh, Gandhi. If you look at Gandhi, uh, if you look at uh, Maharishi, uh, Maharishi, Maharishi Hawkins. Uh, Hawkins, Hawkins, and Hawkins talked a lot about his food. He was he was obese. And he did the techniques that we did before. He had sugar addiction, obese, obesity, all his weight lost. And um, what would happen, and this is kind of obvious, as you go into these very high energy fields, uh, hunger doesn't exist for you any longer. So you don't get hungry anymore. Actually, you forget to eat. That's what happens. Because you're in the present moment, there's so much spiritual energy coming in, in the present, you just forget to eat. So 
Um, what happens then is his wife has to remind him to make sure he eats, you know, so he doesn't like, you know, just top, top over and just uh, the body fall over. And detox. So when you get into these high energy states, uh, you don't get hungry. You're just present and you're, you're happy. So that starts to happen. Um, you know, if you feel out, you know, sugar, you know, if you feel out all the sugar cravings, then you're not going to need anything sweet to live. So you, that, that will get rid of fruit and chocolates. You won't just won't have that. You also forget to eat, you, you know. So because I'm in a 12-step fellowship, I make sure and I weigh myself so that, you know, because in a 12-step fellowship, you don't want to become, you know, just uh, you don't want to become anorexic because it's not helpful. And that's in the context of a food, food fellowship. So that, that's absolutely normal. You dissolve it. Also, as you get to more advanced levels and you study Hawkins' work, uh, you realize you can cancel your belief around negative ideas about food. You know, because actually everything's a belief system. You know, people say that you have to have this or that, or if you eat sugar, it'll kill you, or, uh, uh, or whatever. I mean, you can. Or, you know, if you don't have enough of that, you know, you won't be healthy. You can cancel all those beliefs. So, in the end, you know, he used to have high cholesterol. He used to have, have to avoid everything because he had so many allergies. In the end, he was just eating beef burgers and Pepsis and, 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 uh, and chocolates and sweets and still was totally thin. Because when you get to those high states, you, you don't get a hit out of the food. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like uh, to be alive is at such a high vibration that actually... You know, like you don't get hits from things, so they they don't have any effect on you. When you're in a low vibration state and you eat some ch a chocolate cake, you suddenly feel you're depressed, and then you suddenly feel happy for five minutes. You know, after a chocolate cake, and then you're, you're depressed again. So you don't you don't get that. You know, so they they don't they're not addictive, whatever it is. You see, and you cancel your beliefs, so they just dissolve away. So I think that answers the question. Uh, I think, you know, if you get to very high vibrations, <laughs> if, you, if you get to, sorry, that was just me. I don't know, was <laughs> I was just like, sorry, Crazy. that was, I was just, just, just talking randomly there. So, uh, <laughs> so, I'm um, sorry. I'm not very good, but anyway. Yeah, uh, <laughs> phones, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, Thank you, Okay, so yeah, let me just, you. let me just sort of see. Um, <laughs> when you get to high vibrations, yeah. So you just, you just have to remember, you just have to remember to eat. Um, otherwise, you get, you can get very, very thin. But you can just dissolve it. If you let go of the beliefs, you just dissolve it. <laughs>